With our dams close to capacity, Sydney's desalination plant is sitting unused, costing every household $90 a year on their water bill. Nine News has gone behind the scenes at Kernell to see if taxpayer money is really going down the drain. In a lonely corner of Kernell, $1.8 billion worth of desalination equipment, watches and weights. For us, it's also a matter of, uh, of water, water security. We're on tour of Sydney's desal plant in hibernation. What was once gushing with seawater, empty. The filters, quiet. Warragamba Dam, the largest of Sydney's water catchments, is at 93%, but still, each household is forking out $90 every year to keep the desalination plant in mothballs just in case. They need to independently examine how much it's going to cost to shut the plant down, sell off the membranes and see how much we can take off water bills. Our estimate is there's about $45 a year savings. To pack it up and decommission it, uh, I think uh, from an economic and financial point of view uh, it would not be the right thing to do. Uh, these things are very expensive uh, to build. In the last financial year, maintenance at the desal plant cost us $195.9 million. The year before, it was $192.7 million. That pays for 17 full-time staff to keep it in go mode should the call come. Operating on wind energy, water is pumped via an undersea tunnel. Skins sift out seaweed and debris before filters remove smaller particles. And this is the third main phase in the desalination process, where the actual salt is removed from the water. It's pumped in here at high pressure through 36,000 individual membranes. The result, if and when we need it, 15% of Sydney's drinking water, 250 million litres a day. The desalination plant survived an election and four premiers, opening in 2010. Fantastic. A wonderful day for Sydney. Wonderful day for Sydney. Cheers. Cheers. Switched off for three years, the plant is now an insurance policy, a sleeping giant until the next drought. Lizzie Pearl, Nine News.